All right, let's talk about an interesting signing, an interesting decision by the Patriots going after Juju Smith-Schuster, who, you know, I think it's worth mentioning they could have potentially re-signed Jacoby Myers uh, to, you know, it was a very similar amount of money. Now, uh, again, we don't know the the details. Maybe Myers wanted to go play in Las Vegas. I wouldn't blame him if he did. uh, So we just don't know the whole details there. But still, they go after Juju Smith-Schuster. He is their guy. And I'm interested in just this fit in general. I find it to be a pretty interesting fit. First, let's look at some, uh, you know, PFF grades, and then we'll look at the box score stats, and then we'll look at the film. You see that, you know, he was graded really well in 2018. If I remember correctly, he was the second highest graded player that year in terms of wide receivers, so they love him that year, but since then, he's still been solid. He's still been consistent when he's been on the field, Uh, you know, but he has not really had dominant seasons. It hasn't really been great, but he's been a solid contributor. You look at his box score stats, you definitely see that the one year that jumps out is that 2018 season. You know, obviously, uh, he was playing opposite Antonio Brown. That's going to help. But still, sure, Antonio Brown took a ton of attention away from him in 2018, but he still had to get those 111 catches for 1,400 yards. He still had to go out and do that. Has had some consistently solid seasons, though, again, when he stayed healthy, 2020 and 2022, two years where he's been, you know, not too shy of a thousand yards. So he's been a solid contributor for multiple different teams now, but what can he bring to the Patriots? Going over to this play, the Chiefs really use him, I thought, kind of as a possession receiver a lot of the time. Something like this, where you see the concept, it's zone coverage. Smith Schuster is running the route you see on the screen that's closest towards the bottom of the screen. He's just trying to get into a little gap in coverage towards the outside. Since there is another deep route in that area, that could take the corner who's covering that area further deep. So, you know, there's definitely a window here. As you see, Mahomes takes the snap, and Smith-Schuster just runs out to his spot. This is very much how he runs these routes. He doesn't get too fancy, just gets to his spot. Mahomes is going to make this throw. Smith-Schuster makes the catch. Hey, picked up a decent gain there. That's a lot of what he did with the Kansas City Chiefs, and even with the Steelers, with the exception of that one dominant season. And I think my first thought is it's a bit of an odd fit, you could argue, because the Patriots seemingly love route running. That's typically what they go for. Obviously, Julian Edelman, you know, the master of route running, he was incredible at that stuff. Uh, But, you know, like, you know, Jacoby Myers was someone who was very good in that. They even went out and got Mike Gusecki, who's another really good route running tight end. Uh, This time, they're going away from it a little bit. But again, maybe they just want guys who can do some different things. Smith-Schuster, more of a just get to your spot kind of player. But hey, if you're getting open, what's the difference? And like going over to something like this, I would call him a smart player. I, I I do think I would. He does do a good job at figuring out, you know, in zone coverage, how to find soft spots in zone. And that's why I actually think it's probably a good fit, even though I kind of, you know, said it confused me a little bit earlier. But the more I think about it, the more I do like the fit because the Patriots, what they love to do is stuff like this. They love to try to get teams in zone coverage and then have receivers who can kind of get schemed open. Although this one is not going to be a schemed open play. The way it's designed before it starts is just find a gap in coverage underneath, you know, very simple route. Uh, kind of, you only throw it there if nothing else is open. Watch how one this play begins. You know, Smith Schuster, uh, you know, takes him a little bit longer to get open, which again is fine. If he's taking away a defender, that's okay on this play, so not a big deal. But he's not open. However, it's Patrick Mahomes, right? Mahomes does such a good job at being able to, you know, extend plays. And listen, I'm not expecting uh, Mac Jones to be able to do this type of stuff necessarily and to extend plays consistently. The only reason I'm bringing it up is because these things do happen, and it's a good showcase for how just Smith Schuster does have a good feel for finding soft spots in zone coverage. Watch what he does, and watch how he moves in towards the middle of the field and does then turn around, find a soft spot, and find a window for Mahomes to make the throw, and then, oh yeah, he somehow gets out of that situation and gets into the end zone for a touchdown. I'm not saying he does this every time. I'm not saying that this is a consistent thing that any receiver does, but the fact that he can do it is promising. Well, yes, it's probably not going to happen exactly this way in New England too frequently. It will happen at times where, you know, he just has to find a soft spot in the zone coverage and he can get there quicker. Like this play, he kind of had to wait just given the nature of his route. But there will be other plays where he doesn't have to wait. And I think he'll do a pretty good job. 
Also, stuff like this, he has been known to beat the occasional man coverage, right? He can do this. This is an example where you see the route on the screen. Uh, it's almost as a pick play, really, with the, you know, the two receivers right next to each other is going to be how it works out. But watch how Smith-Schuster does cut in very quickly, very well, and is able to make the catch while continue moving and even makes a, you know, safety miss and picks up a decent gain there. So these are the things that Smith-Schuster is good at. It's just being a consistently solid receiver. I, I don't think he's ever going to be the 1,400-yard receiver again. I think those days uh, have come and gone. It, you know, it was a great year when it happened, but I think that you know, we've seen that enough sample size now to say that's probably not the case. That's probably not who you're going to be. But can he be a 900 yard receiver, 1000 yard receiver in New England? It's certainly possible. Again, stuff like this, this is, you know, right out of the Bill O'Brien playbook. This is stuff that, uh, you know, the Bill O'Brien loves to do, uh, the Patriots in general love to do as they're playing Bill O'Brien's former team on this play, the Houston Texans. It's zone coverage, and you see Smith Schuster's route supposed to get into a gap in coverage. Again, kind of past the uh, player who's covering over the middle, but not quite deep enough to where the safety and the corner can come in and make a play. Right when his play begins, you know, I, I should talk about Smith Schuster's route running a little bit. He's not a bad route runner or anything. I mean, he just he doesn't tend to do a ton of different moves, but he doesn't necessarily give stuff away for the sake of giving stuff away either. He's just someone who tends to be on the side of just run your route quickly as opposed to try to, you know, spend a little bit of extra time to set stuff up and, you know. There's an argument to be made about which one is better, but what he's doing here well is he isn't giving away what he's doing, and that's a very important aspect of route running is the stem portion of the route. I, I brought up Julian Edelman earlier. If you go back and watch some of his tape, you know he never gave anything away until right when he was about to cut, and maybe they feel like they can get a uh, Julian Edelman light in Juju Smith-Schuster. But look, as you see, when he does cut, you know, again, the Texans corner was eventually able to get over there, but just took him a little bit of extra time. It's, you know, good stuff from Smith Schuster. And these are the plays that he can do relatively consistently. I do think that one of the things that he brings to the table in a positive uh, ma manner is consistency. I think that, again, as long as he stays healthy, which he has had a couple of injuries over the course of his career, but as long as he stays healthy, which he's been mostly healthy throughout his career, he hasn't had too many bad years. He's been pretty solid when he's gotten like over 500 snaps in a season. So that's kind of the thing that you kind of hold out hope for as well for New England because you just you know how the team operates they tend to not go after number one receivers you know with exceptions obviously but the main thing they value is not necessarily having one elite guy but having four or five guys who can play that's how they view the wide receiver position and while sometimes it's had its bad years sometimes it's really worked out but to make sure it works out you got to make sure you get the good players and I think Smith Schuster should fit in well with this team I I'd be very surprised if he has a breakout year with New England I just don't see that happening maybe I'm wrong I've been wrong before uh that's just not something I think that the Patriots are even expecting as a possibility when they make this signing I think the Patriots are making the signing for kind of a a high floor type player someone they know can come in and just play solid. And in that respect, I kind of agree with them. I think that's what Smith Schuster will be. I don't think he will be this, uh, you know, boomer bust free agent signing. I have a very hard time seeing him not work out at all for the Patriots. Again, could he be disappointing? Sure. But I have a hard time seeing him not at least be like a 500, 600 yard guy. And my expectation is better than that. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, Thanks for watching.